My name is Helda Larsen. I am a health and mindset coach. I'm an author of three books. I'm a detox specialist. I'm a keynote speaker and most of all, I'm a life enthusiast. And let's talk about honesty and authenticity. What? Yes. I come to you speaking about health, but I want first honesty. This is what I see. When I work with clients, let's cut the chase, go right to the point. When I'm working with clients, this is what I see. You can find why you're suffering with your health. And it doesn't have to be detrimental. It doesn't have to be that you're on disability or that you feel like you're dying or that you're diagnosed with a severe illness. It doesn't even have to be that. It could be that you're the one walking around with the headaches, feeling that insomnia, anxiety, a little bit of depression. It could be migraines, it could be bloating, it could be pain here and there. The thing is, when you're not feeling optimal, when your life is not boosting with enthusiasm, because it will when you're healthy on all levels, it's natural. <laughs> it's natural. Believe me, I've been there. I was so sick and so tired, I would rather die than live another year. I was diagnosed with severe rheumatoid arthritis, Lyme's disease. My anxiety was to the point where I was hospitalized several times. I thought I was die. I would die more than I thought I would live to the point where I wish I was dead. I wished I was dead. So I've been there. That is not natural. That is not living. Trying to run after being an achiever, trying to pop a pill for the headache and still go to the party. Take medication so that you can still exercise. Take medication so that you can still go watch your some play soccer or go to work because you think you need to achieve. Now you don't. You just need to stop and take care of yourself. And I want to tell you this before you get honest with yourself and authentic. How could you ever start? How could you ever really start? I wasn't honest. I was lying to myself to the point where I believed my stupid stories. I was telling myself, ah, oh, this would pass, or my body's not strong enough, or if I only do this, everything will get better, and if I only don't tell anyone, or if I just make believe, make believe. This world is a make believe. <laughs> you not being healthy is make believe. That's an illusion. The body not being a healer is the illusion. That's the truth. The body not being able to go through anything and then balance right back together if we step back and let it, that's the truth. That's honesty. So why are we not honest and what do I mean by that? Number one, you're not honest if you're not recognizing what's really going on within your life. Because if you have a headache, you might have it just because you're suppressing your emotions and you're allowing yourself to eat like shit just because you haven't realized that your work isn't serving you, your friends aren't serving you, you aren't loving yourself enough to step up and be the best version of you. I mean, honestly, being authentic is step number one. And that's when everything turned around from me, for me, everything. When I got to the point where I had to really look at myself in the mirror, looking, saying, oh my God, is this me? I was afraid to lose my business because, yes, I loved it, sort of, but it was more like, what would that say about me? Who would I be without my business? What would people think? I would feel, I would feel like a failure. I felt like a failure. You know, it's to the point where we walk around with this long hair, beautiful hair, and then we lose it. And then our identity was in the hair. And then we want to hold on to that. <gasps> no, I can't do that. I can't go into deep detox because I'm losing my hair. There we go again. Where is the honesty? How could we ever be honest with ourselves when we're so afraid of being judged by others? And why are we afraid to be judged by others? Are we ourselves judges? Where did we learn that? Where did we learn to judge ourselves the hardest? We picked it up along the way. 
This is a judging world we live in and we need to step out of it. It's not working. It's not authentic. It's not honest. What's going on on the outside of you is not an honest world. You need to make sure that on the inside it is because that's going to radiate out and create your outside. And if you're not feeling optimal, you're not living authentically, honestly with yourself. Now that's a bold statement and I mean it and then I don't mean it. The way that I don't mean it is that you might be on a path already where you have committed and said, heck yeah, I'm going to take back my sexy, darn, amazing, passionate life. But you're not going to feel better in an instant. You're not going to feel better in the next 20 minutes, 20 days even, might not be even be in the next 24 months. But it doesn't matter. You took that, made that choice. You shifted your focus. Because the thing is, when you start living authentically and honestly, this is what happens. See yourself walking down one path. Okay, this is where I'm walking. And I can only see what, what is going there in front of me, com you know, compared to what's behind me. So I'm thinking, okay, I can't do this because it's over here. Like, I can't do better in this apartment. I can't get my health back because of all the reasons that you tell yourself. Example, I don't have enough money, or I don't know how, or I'm too old, I'm too young, I'm too fragile, I'm too this and too that. So we keep on walking the way that we're walking with all those reasons, and we try to do a little better with those reasons on our shoulders. We're carrying them, walking down that way, while the solution is over here. And the solution might be hard, it might be bold, it might be unbearable, it might even look like something fun, it might look like something you can never even do. But the thing is, before you turn in that direction and say, hey, that's where I'm going, <laughs> we're not saying I'm going there because I can, or I believe in it, or I can see it happening. No. We're going there because the solution is there. Health is there. So I'm going in that direction. Now, the obstacles come. The same thing come. You will look at the face where you say, you get into, you, the thing that will come up in your face could be, uh, I don't have enough money, or I'm traumatized, or I don't know how. The same thing. But when you look at it from that perspective, it's an obstacle. It's, it's, it's a growing force. It's a challenge in your direction. It is not something out of your reach. You get what I'm saying? So once you get honest, you shift into the direction that you really want to go where the solution is, where your solution is, where health is, optimal health, optimal health. And it is possible. It is possible for all of us. It is natural. It's way more than possible. But you need to get honest, honest with yourself. How am I really feeling? Ask yourself a couple of Key questions. How do I really feel? How is my health, really? From top to toe, analyze yourself a little bit. Doesn't hurt to get honest. How is my life? Am I happy here? How's my work? How's my relationships? How do I live? How do I think about me? How do I think about the future? How do I think about the past? Learn you. Learn to know you then own it. Be authentic. It's your life. It's your opportunity. It's your potentials out there. And they are many. Just for you. And there's support out there. This is why I do what I do. I've been there. I've seen it. I've seen hell through my eyes. And I respect and I honor everybody's journey because it doesn't matter what it seems like on the outside. If you're not feeling well, that is bad enough for me and it should be for you. That should be bad enough for you to radically change something so that you can experience what I'm here to teach you and why I do what I do. Bliss for life. Look at nature. Look at this. This is Norway in the winter. Now this is something to embrace. This is why we're here. We're a part of nature and we're here to love each other through loving ourselves 
and honoring ourselves through taking care of ourselves, not lying, trying to cover it up. It becomes like tumors, covered up, stagnant, like the lymph in our body, just stagnant, creates pain. There's no flow. There's no filtration of that. Authenticity opens up the whole you. And it doesn't matter if it looks amazingly good or crazy bad. As long as that's your situation right now, when you see it and honor it, then you can start walking in that direction of where the solution is. The solution to your entangled, bundled up issues. It's all that it is. And it can all resolve. Okay? So that is my message to you today. Be honest with you first. Everybody else? Yeah. 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 It will follow. I need to change my diet. I need to start meditating. I need to start yoga. I need to start exercising. I need to change my job. I need to this. I need to that. It is too much. It's just too much for most of us. It was too much for me. I just sat down and said, you know what? I'm going to stop everything. I'm going to stop everything. I'm just going to lay down until one out of two things happen. Either I die or I get healthy. And I don't care which. And I really didn't care which. I didn't care which because all I wanted was the current situation to stop. And I don't want you to end up there. I just wanted everything to stop because what I was living was me chasing life like so many people are today. I talk to my clients. Every day I have clients telling me my story. And it's too much. Chasing life, trying to be, trying to achieve, popping a pill to feel better, fix everything. Just because we think that that's what we need to do. But what about you? What do you want? What do you really want? And then look at your life and be honest. This is me right now. This is how I feel. This is what I feel. This is how I perceive my life. Then call on me. <laughs> Read my books. Watch my videos. Get inspired. And let's do something about it. That's the thing. Action. Action. It's so worth it. You're so worth it. You're amazing. You're amazing. You're freaking amazing. And if you just knew how amazing you were, you wouldn't do anything less than change everything that isn't working. Change everything. Be that worthy, badass human that is going to change the world through its actions. Because health, getting healthy, it's not, it's not just a regular journey. It's an enlightenment. It's awareness. It's the raise of your vibration. It's getting back in sync with nature, with you. That's what I wanted to tell you today and how much I love you, how much I love all of you. And thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Thank you for subscribing to my channel, watching my videos, sharing my videos, commenting on my videos because I know I'm reaching you then, and that's my mission with these videos, to reach as many of you as possible so that you'll all feel better because, and that's a selfish reason for me, I know that when we all feel better, it will be a better world in general. And the children coming in will have a better life because of it. And they deserve it. That's why we need to take that responsibility through being honest, authentic, and taking action. Thank you so much. I love you. Namaste.